of uh, purgatory in terms of trading. When do you think it could get up to uh, its past highs of more than 20,000? I mean, it's, it's hard to predict prices. Um, I'm from, I've been in this space for uh, seven years now. I think sometimes it comes back within six months, a year. Sometimes it takes like three or four years. So it's kind of hard to say. What do you think price tells us about? So that's why I'm not really worried about the pricing because he's completely right that it's very volatile. And if you look at the, the graph over the last year, it's kind of stabilized and there's bubbles that have been like this. Um, in previous history of uh, following cryptos. And so I'm not worried about the price. The main thing that's happening is that developments are moving on, chugging along, and uh, there's real world applications for cryptocurrencies. And that's why I'm investing. And that's why I do not feel like the value will go to zero. And uh, if you want to watch the rest of this in interview, um, Charlie Lee states a lot of things that I agree with. Unfortunately, I can't share the entire interview because CNBC uh, is not friendly. I have to limit it. But um, when it comes to price and investing in crypto, you should not worry about it. And you should go in with a mindset of holding for at least a year. And uh, if you're able to buy at these prices where it's been pretty stable now, crypto could go down, Bitcoin could go down to 5,000 and it might hit new lows. Um, the market cap has recovered and it may not go below 200 billion, but long term, I still think there's a lot of promise for cryptocurrencies and uh, most people that are involved in the crypto space like Charlie Lee, like the co-founder of Ethereum, they're not worried about the month two months ahead. They're, they're, they're thinking years ahead, and I think that's what you should do with crypto investing. But let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you soon.